Enhancing Your Self-Awareness There are a number of ways that people can increase their understanding of themselves. Two important approaches to enhancing self-awareness, as shown in Exhibit 14.1, are soliciting feedback from others and using self-assessments. Soliciting Feedback Just as we use a mirror in the mornings to shave or fix our hair, we can use other people as a mirror to see ourselves more clearly. A manager might consider himself to be patient and understanding, but his employees may see that he is easily irritated and unsympathetic. Francisco de Souza, CEO of Cognizant Technology Solutions Corporation, worked with a coach who talked to people who worked with and for him. It was difficult feedback, de Souza says, but very enlightening. That helped me identify a couple of my blind spots. Many people have blind spots, attributes about themselves that they are not aware of or don't recognize as problems, which limit their effectiveness and hinder their career success. D'Souza learned that people had confidence in his ability, but felt that he was harsh in his criticism. It made me understand that the weight of my words was a lot heavier than I gave myself credit for, and it led me to be much more thoughtful and measured in how I give feedback, he said. When we go through life without feedback, we're like the balding man who sweeps thin strands of hair across his scalp and thinks no one notices. Seeking feedback to enhance self-awareness can improve performance and job satisfaction for both managers and employees. We all have illusions about ourselves, so we need help from others to get a clear picture of who we are. Self-assessment. Another highly valuable way to increase self-awareness is self-assessment, which uses self-inquiry and reflection to gain insights into oneself from the results of scores on self-assessment instruments such as those throughout this text. By completing these assessments as honestly as possible, you can analyze your scores and increase your understanding of various aspects of yourself. Some managers, including Stuart McClure, who left a job as chief technology officer at McAfee to start information security company Silence, go through assessment exercises administered by Development Dimensions International, DDI, and other consulting firms to learn about aspects of themselves. McClure learned that he has great strengths in getting things done, but that he tends to take on too much and be impatient when interrupted with people or ideas outside his immediate interest. I have to slow myself down, he says. Self-assessment also means regularly reflecting on our thoughts and feelings. Introspection, reflecting on our experiences, examining the effects of our actions and behavior, looking at the consequences for ourselves and others and asking, what can I learn? is a valuable use of time that too many managers overlook. Some people keep a journal, meditate, or just sit quietly and think through their day. Major League Soccer star Landon Donovan used both feedback and introspection to increase his understanding of himself and improve his life and relationships, as described in the following example. Not everyone wants to engage in therapy, as Landon Donovan did, but forms of introspection and feedback can help each of us benefit by learning more about ourselves. When a manager understands himself or herself, the manager is better able to understand and interact effectively with others.